Good day. I think buns are off, bloke. Here you go. Well, pretty a pretty exciting day. First review. So this, I assume, I haven't opened it yet, or even read the side of it. But I'm guessing, because it says it comes from China, it's what I think it is. Going to be a grow lamp and a grow tent. So let's open her up and have a look. Pretty exciting. So let's do a review on this. Just cut all this open. The wife, beautiful wife, got this from the post office for me. I had to walk it to the car. She reckons it got pretty heavy, so we'll take a look inside. Bloody beauty, mate. Being square like this, I'm guessing it's the lamp. Oh wow. Stickers. Mars Hydro. Now, here in Aussie, Australia, it's illegal to grow marijuana plants, so I ain't going to be doing a review on that. If that's what they expect. So anyway, this is an LED light. Wow. First time I've seen it as well. Should take these covers off. Look at that. So I'm guessing this sits in the top of the tent. Pretty cool. It's got Mars Hydro written on there. Let's, let's unplug it. Well, I don't know what all this stuff on the back's for. This looks pretty crazy. Looks like it has to have a power board and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, so that's that. We'll show that in a sec. I'll get it set up and I'll give you a show. So these are all hanging hooks and stuff to get it set up in the tent, I'm guessing. Some stickers, we'll put that on the tent. Okay. Now this unboxing will also include building it, so we'll build it. You guys can stick around for the build. And we'll sort it all out and sort out what everything does. It looks pretty well made so far. It'll be interesting to see how they how the um, seedlings like it. Okay, so this is a grow tent, that's pretty cool. But hey, welcome back. As you can see, it's a different day. I'm wearing different clothes. And we're gonna continue the review of this. I've been busy the last few days, so it's been almost a week since I've looked at it, but it's all still here. Okay, so we got the canvas here, I'm assuming. Like I said, I think it's some sort of a decent material. Looks all right. Might be a floor mat. Yeah, it looks like a floor mat. Okay, so we're not going to need that yet. I'll put that down on the ground to the side for now. I just opened up these pegs, just have a quick look. Okay, they're all numbered, so it all looks like it should be pretty easy. All numbered. Got all your corner pieces here. It's actually, it's quite, quite heavy feeling, so it feels decent, you know. Some reflective tape here, some straps. Use this manual for the light. Stickers, a lot of stickers. So we can use a lot of stickers. Like I said, I'm going to use this for growing seedlings and for maybe some getting some veggies going early or late winter for early spring. Um, I won't be using it for marijuana because that's illegal here, but if it's legal where you are, that's probably what this is designed for. Although I think it's going to be awesome for growing seeds for bonsai and for just generally growing things, getting them started before you put them outside. Okay, so we've got the LED light, cord, 
There's the light. Um, it's like I said, it's got an on off switch, a minimum maximum dimmer, depending on I guess how much light you want to give them. For me, I'll probably just give them max, but who knows? Maybe ceilings, you could probably wind it back a bit, who knows? I don't think that'll bother me too much. And then we've got some instructions here to put it together. So I'm probably going to just time lapse putting this together. I'll just show you, you know, pretty, pretty decent detailed instructions. Okay, so just tells you all the part numbers, how to put it together. And this Aggie Mars Hydro, they do all different ones. They do a double tank. Um, single tents, I think they do massive lights, they do this size light, they do lights that you can, well even here you can join this one in and then link it to another light and have two lights going and even maybe a third I think. But anyway, Mars Hydro looks pretty decent, so let's just, let's see how we go. Let's get this together, don't need this, do need the instructions. Normally I don't bother with instructions, but as soon as it's on a video, I should probably try to get it right the first time. Normally I muck around, try and do it myself, and then I have to get the bloody instructions out anyway. So this time, we're going to be looking at the instructions. First, let's have a ton, because ton is fun. Now, let's open her up. Get all the bits and pieces out. Scale together. See how she goes. done pretty straightforward um, I did have a little little bit of trouble getting this on until I realized that done by me there's a zip that goes all the way around at the bottom which you've got to make sure you properly undo I only half undid it and I couldn't get it over the frame but we've sorted that out I've hung the light in the middle here I've plugged it in full time at the back and then it looks like you've got some adjustments here to drop it down, lift it up. So here we can just drop it down on each side pretty safely. You can go lower, higher. A lot of light in there. So that's on very dull. Now you watch this ramp up. Whoa, man. I can't even look in there. That is so bright. Anyway, I haven't had a hydro set up before, so I don't know what a normal hydro setup looks like, but she's pretty bright. And if I was a plant, I'd want to grow in that, I tell you. But anyway, so she's pretty good, it seems pretty good. Easy to adjust, wind it back up, you just pull the strings. Lift her up a bit, done. Bloody simple, there's some holes here you can put your hands in if you want to put your hands in or let more air in. The exhaust fan at the top. Oh, hang on. You might not be able to see that. Silly me. Okay, yeah, so there's some adjustments here. That's where you let it down. Push that up. Light drops. Same with this one. Light drops. An adjustment knob here for the dimmer. Brighter, duller. I guess depends on how young your plants are and how much intensity they need. Pretty crazy. Let's see if the camera can pick it up. Not really. It just keeps adjusting itself. 
yeah, pretty cool. Um, and what else? It had on off, and it has two channels there, and you can plug it on into another one, uh, in, into another one. You can plug it into a computer also, or a controller. For me, I'm just going to use, um, oh God, yes, I lost it. For me, that's what I'll use. And that'll be my timer. Turn it on and off. Pretty easy way of doing it. And that's it. That's Mars Hydro Tent. Review from Aussie Bonsai Bloke. Looks like a really well made tent. Zips fully up. So if you've got mice problems, the mice can't get in there and eat your plants. Which I have because they ate some of my seedlings, the little buggers. So she's mice proof as well, which is another bonus. And, you know, she puts out some warmth too. So that's on low, put it on high. She's on high now. She does put out some good warmth too. So she'll be good for seedlings as well as your other plants that you want to grow in there. Your mold plants, whatever you want to grow. Pretty cool. Mars Hydro. Seems good. Check them out. They're on pretty well everywhere over social media and eBay and um, Amazon and stuff. So just check them out. You can get all sorts of light combos, tent combos, but check them out. Great for growing seeds. And also if you live in a cli cold climate um, and you've got some tropical trees or tropical things you want to keep in there, that's another great thing to do over winter. Keep them warm. Give them lots of light. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Aussie Bonzo Bloke. Please like, share, subscribe. Tell your mates. If you're thinking about getting one, get one. Pretty cool. Cheers. Hello, Papa. Good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Who's a good boy? Hey, who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Scratch your bum, scratch your bum.